Yes, that's it. You can take the wheelbarrow around the side for the time being. OK. Hey, Jack, come and look at this. What is it? Eggs, I think. Look. What do you think they are? I don't know. Perhaps an insect laid them. A cabbage butterfly, maybe. Let's ask Frank. He'll know. Hey, Frank. Yes, what can I do for you? What do you think these eggs are, Frank? Cabbage butterfly? No, they'd be a different colour. And they wouldn't be on the ground. They're the right shape and colour for slugs' eggs, though. Or they could be... I'll tell you what, Sharon. Go and get a plastic tray from the greenhouse. Now, if we pop them in there... ..you'll be able to keep them somewhere safe. Until they hatch out, then we know what they are. Hi, Jake. Hello. What have you got there? Easter presents. I made them at school. Hey, they're really good. Are the eggs real? Of course they are. Hard boiled. You can eat them. I pulled mine in beetroot juice. That's why it's pink. Then I drew the pattern on with my felt tips. This one's for Mum. I thought I'd make another one for Gran. <laughs> You'd never get Gran to eat it. Why not? Uh, you know Gran. You want to keep it on her mantelpiece. <laughs> You could blow an egg instead of boiling it. Then she could keep it forever. And it would never go off. Blow an egg? Yeah, it's easy. First, you make a hole at the top. I think you'd better give an egg-blowing demonstration, Jake. Listen, there's some eggs on top of the fridge in the workshop. Take Nicky in and show him how it's done. Yeah, come on, Jake. I like the duck, Mia. Did you make that for your mum? Mm. It's not a duck's egg, though. No, you don't see duck's eggs very often these days. How did you draw the pattern on? With a little stick dipped into melted wax. Our teacher helped us with that part. We're not allowed to use hot wax on our own. I think I might try egg decorating. We could get Jake to blow some eggs for us and make an Easter present for Sally. And we could have scrambled eggs for tea. Now watch. First, you pierce the egg with a needle at both ends. Then, you make the holes a bit bigger, with a skewer, like this. Now, very carefully. Then, you stick the needle right down inside, and give the egg a good shake. What for? To break the yolk. You know, the inner part inside the egg. Mm. Otherwise, it won't come through the hole. Now, I need a bowl so you can blow the egg into it. That's great, Jake. There we are. Now, all you do, drink some water. Yeah. And leave it to dry. Frank? Yes, Mia? Do swans and ducks lay their eggs in nests? Like garden birds do? Yes, though most water birds nest on the ground, near the water's edge. Frank, tell you what we ought to do in the Easter holidays. Take a trip down to the wildfowl sanctuary. Yeah. Could we, Frank? Mm -hmm. See some real water birds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> near our school, there's a special park for water birds. Lots of different kinds of birds live here. It's a safe place for the birds to bring up their young. One day, three of us went down to the park and met Tony. Right, let's go and feed these little ducks down here. Tony works at the park looking after the birds. What's that stick for? 
This stick is my egging stick. We brought it down to help us try and find a nest across the far side, across there. Should we go and have a look at it? Yeah. Come on, then. He took us to a duck's nest. It's along here on the left, somewhere, if I remember rightly. The mother duck may not be on the nest now, so she may have covered it with down. Have a little look up here. Only people like Tony are allowed to collect eggs from nests. We must never do it by ourselves. Anyone? That's right, that's the one we're searching for. Good. Let's have a look and see what's there. Look at all. Look at all. Now, that's a lot of eggs in there, isn't it? Yeah. We don't want all of them, do we? Otherwise, the mother duck will be very cross. That's right. Well, what we're going to do here is to make sure that she has some. We'll take nine. How about that? And we'll leave yeah. her with that, all right? Yeah. She can that's hatch seven. those. Because she won't raise them all anyway if she hatches such a large number. OK, let's leave that one now. Let's get those back to the school now. Come on. Now we'll see if we find any more nests on the way. Nice and careful. We took the eggs back to our school. Hello. We had an incubator in the corner of our classroom. An incubator is a machine for hatching out eggs. Here they are. These are the ones we've just got. Seven. Two is nine. Check the beta temperature on this thermometer. It's got to be between 100 and 105. OK, you're going to keep an eye on that for me over the next couple of days. Right, can you just pour a little bit more water just in there for me? Just in there. We had to make sure that the incubator kept the eggs warm and damp. That's super. We need some water in there to help the birds hatch. It mustn't be too dry in there. Warm and damp. While the eggs were in the incubator, we carried on with our egg project. Our teacher um, brought some eggs from the farm in the basket. And we didn't know what sizes they were, so they, we weighed them. Fifty. That's heavy. Nope. Try five. That's just about right. 50, 50, 60, 65, 70, 72. Once we had weighed the egg, we looked up onto the chart and saw which box they went into. Size one, yeah. After a few days, we could hear that something was happening to our duck sex. We could see something as well. Can you see anything happening? What's happening then? Is it moving? Yeah. There's its beak, I think. It's pecking its way out. Pecking its way out, do you think so? Yeah. I think so too. It's a long time, isn't it? It's pushing itself out too. What do you think he's doing? Do you think he's pushing with his feet or pecking with his beak? Pushing with his feet and pecking. Pushing, pushing. It must be hard work getting out. Oh, it's out. There, look. Oh. There. Here's another one coming. I can hear it squeaking. Whoops. And now we can hear him, can't we? Yes, it's squeaking. It's wet and sticky. He's very, very weak at the moment, isn't he? Can you see his eyes? It's all floppy. He looks very tired. In a few hours' time, lots of little ducklings had hatched out. Tony came back to the school to collect the ducklings. Let's take the top off. Two. 
two, four, six, and eight of them. Right, stroke them. One of the eggs hasn't hatched. Let's see whether there's any chance at all, but it might just not be fertilised. There may be no duckling inside it at all, like some of the eggs you buy to eat in the supermarket. Oh. We went to the park with Tony. He took us to the duckery, where they look after the ducklings. Oh, oh. Perhaps you'd like to take the next two, Louise, and just pop those in for me. Thank you. That's a nice and little bridge. Seven and eight. Right, now they'll live in there for about ten days now. Plenty of food and water and heat, which is the same length of time that these ones in this basket have. Now, these are ready to go outside now, so we're going to take them outside, OK? Come on with me now. Right, now, if you'd like just to wait outside here, I'll release them in this pen here. Why do they always swim in the group? It's because they don't want to lose each other. That's right. They're all friends. Will they have a mummy and daddy? No, these birds won't now. They've, they've managed quite well without so far. They've got plenty of food and water. And they don't need to have parents all the time. What, do they think you are their mum and daddy? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. That's they right. They can look after themselves because they're just the same. Who'd like to decorate this one? Oh, Frank. Whilst I'm waiting for this one to dry. Uh, same colour? Yes. Sally's very keen on blue. This one's dry, Mia. Do you want to scrape the wax off? Yeah. Thanks. They don't look much like hen's eggs now, do they? You could imagine some really strange bird laying one of these. Yes, what about them? Well, if we had some string or ribbon, we could thread it through and hang them up. Like Christmas decorations, you mean? Yeah. The only trouble is, where would we hang them? What about one of those dead branches in a wheelbarrow? We could ha hang the eggs on that. Good idea, Jake. See if you can find one with plenty of twigs on. Hey, Jake, come and look at this. Frank, guess what? What? Sharon's eggs are hatching. Well, where's she been keeping them? In the greenhouse. Get them out of there, quick. After all, we don't want anything eating our tomato plants, do we? Frank, did you know what Sharon's eggs were going to turn into? Well, I had a pretty good idea. It's not too difficult. If you, you think, think about, about it. it. 